this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. They'd be like, oh, Johnny, here's a compilation of Terika saying she would suck oh, random God, body parts. That <laughs> I'd be like, that wasn't her. I was there. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cynthia. Our fave K-pop couple, Hyanna and Don, are engaged, and we couldn't be happier. Mark Lee Solo, a.k.a. Molo, got us in our feels, and ATs keep on disrespecting us with the release of Don't Stop. Check it out. What's up, everybody? It is Not Your Average Fangirls. We're <laughs> back with another week of K-pop. This is your girl, Kat. And, you know, I'm just really happy because true love exists because Hyanna and Don are engaged. And I'm just, like, really happy. And it's a beautiful thing, everybody. It's a beautiful thing. Aww. Also, me and Lily, <gasps> our friend Lily, she'll be listening to this. Hey, girl. Uh, we were thirsting over Pentagon in our DM, in our Instagram DMs last night. And it was a great moment. It was a bonding moment for us, I think. <laughs> yeah, she's in deep. Hey, guys. It's Cynthia. And as the oneness tour approaches, I mm. get more and more nervous. So pray for me. Thank you. I'll be forgetting about that. Like it's because it's so soon. Oh, I know. <laughs> Damn, it was so fast. There is no they're gonna to be breathe. in the states next week. That's wild. Yeah, I know. They're on their first vacation, and they're not really resting. They're working because. They're like, oh my god, I, we got an idea for a surprise for Two Moon, and we didn't have any other time with our schedules, so we're doing it while we're on vacation. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, <sighs> I'm like, you're about to be on tour in the ghetto in America. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Terika. Today is a glorious day because it's my second oldest birthday today. Happy birthday, Ooh. Jesus! They grow up so fast. He's not a teenager anymore. Oh my god. Yes, he's he's a baby. He will always be twelve years old in my heart. Well, yes, but he's not a teenager anymore. <laughs> I know he's. Oh my god, it's so wild. I can't. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina, and I just want to say that I'm still thinking about that AT store. Girl, same. <laughs> and I can't stop. Also, where the hell is Lucas at SM? I miss yep. him. Bring him back. Do I have to make like a hashtag or something? Girl, how come I gotta see Sungri more than Lucas? Like, are you kidding I'm me? I'm saying, I'm tired. I wanna see Lucas. Okay, this is my theory. I'm just thinking because they keep pushing this shit back that they're trying to like make sure everything is cleared so he can part- be part of this new comeback. I freaking hope so. Did he That's not? Did hoping. they not see when Jalapeno dropped? Nobody cared. Everybody was like, oh my God. Oh my I God. think, honestly, I think what they're doing is they're one, they're putting him in timeout because you know they have to. And two, because they're... T- I think they're investigating. I think they're trying to get all their ducks in the row and they can just come out with a lawsuit randomly. Like, you know how, like, Kyunjin, like, he was MIA for forever because they put him in timeout, but then they also came, when he came back, they dropped receipts. They said, this person lied, and this person lied, and this person lied, and then... Sadly, not everybody got a dispatch following them. They can't (laughs) drop it. Damn. I'm upset. I just miss him. I miss my man. I miss my himbo. You're right. I miss him. (laughs) Well, Kat mentioned this earlier, but Hyuna and Don are engaged. And I'm so happy. Um, this is the true love story in K-pop uh, that I hope somebody writes a book about later on, maybe makes a movie. Um, I would have them be the actors in it. Yeah. <laughs> Can they just drop a documentary, an autobiography? Exactly. <laughs> that or when like one of the members of Pentagon drops their tell-all yes. after they leave Q. Yes. Ooh. I would also like that inside information, that. like if they knew. Like, that's what I really want. They know. all knew. I really just want a live stream to the wedding. That's all I want. Just Ooh, a live girl. stream of the wedding. Ooh, that, and that'll be fine. It's going to look amazing. I want Pentagon to be at the wedding, and I need, like, to see tears that are, are not just mine. Like, I need them to be crying, too. Like, <laughs> I know Kino probably going to cry because that's just, you know, the energy he gives up. But I, I need it for, you know, science purposes. <laughs> I just happiness. need Hui as the best man, and I need Q. Aww. Yes. Let me have that in my life because we all know they're still best friends and i just need that when does he get out of the military i think oh like a little under a year or a little over a year it's one of the two (laughs) yeah girl he's not been gone for that long (laughs) oh it it feels like forever it does trust me but yeah i think he still has like a little (laughs) over a year but like it's okay you can get like military vacations for like special occasions. Yeah, and especially shit. for a wedding. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know because I just feel like he's been gone for a minute. I know. Sadly not. I googled it. So Hui, yes, he's still in the military, of course. But uh, <laughs> he enlisted February eighteenth of last year. Yeah. Oh, it's only been a it hasn't even been a year yeah. yet. Dang. Yeah, not yet. Not. I know that Hui was with them just now because um they were like practicing and they posted a picture together. And also congratulate I know we're talking about Hyanna and Dom, but congratulations to Pen- 
commenting on because yes. we were talking about feeling like last win. week and got their like well first win for feeling like mm. and yeah. um first number one album Woo! yes and I'm just so happy for them because last week I literally was just screaming about how they deserve everything and deserve recognition, especially with this song and how good it is. And now mm-hmm. here they are. Yes. It's well deserved. We love this for them. Let's bring it back to Hiana and Dom real quick because I want to talk about their rings. So cute. Ooh, like, how, yeah. When yeah. I saw those rings, I was like, Don did such a good job. Like he literally, oh my God. He spent like a month um doing the designing design it. For it yeah and when i saw it i was like this looks just like it's made for hiana like i love it and they have like matching ones and it has like opals on it it looks it's a beautiful ring and it's it fits their style so well it does the designer did an amazing i mean the jeweler the jeweler yeah. did an amazing job and when they were like the jeweler posted about it and was just like the the rings like paid for his rent for a year amazing and i was like damn i love that, I love for, that him for him or him. them or whoever <laughs> good job bro like but yeah but but he was saying like or they were saying how it took don like a month to finish the design with them and he picked all the opals and diamonds yes like picked out everything himself and i was just like bro when they posted it on instagram i lost my shit because i was mm-hmm. like they like the rings are so them but also just like seeing all of this especially with how we know like their relationship their started mm-hmm. and their story and everything to this oh i'm just so happy for them they went through so much and now now yeah. they're happy and they're in a good company with like a ceo that loves and cares about them and they're able to do what they love and where they belong which is on stage and they can do it together ah! oh, okay i love that so happy now we are moving on to the more uh sadder <laughs> Side of the news, we got more COVID cases in the K-pop industry. Um, so you have Kim Jae Hwan, formerly of 101, now solo, got COVID. Sherry Bullets, Bora, got COVID. My girl Jui of Momo Lane got Jewy. COVID. Dripping, um, Yoon Song and Changuk, just be the Jimin's, both no. of them. <laughs> um, Bae Jin no, got COVID. Why all three of my men get COVID mysteriously right after I did? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wonder how they got it, Terika. <laughs> I wonder. I also think, I think two more girls uh, from the Kepler girls got COVID too. So yeah, it's again, just rummaging through just like a bowling ball and the K-pop idols are the pins. All of them, they have like minor symptoms, you know, like colds and all that quarantine doing all that but uh jaehwan he i guess he it's not confirmed if he got it at like a fan event but they did say that the fans who participated in the face-to-face fan signing on january 29th that they're recommending for you to go get tested so if you were there by chance oh dang and you're listening to this go get tested just in case if this is it. gonna be so ugly for me to say this but like honestly if i like i mean my ass ended up getting covid anyway and i was just trying to make a living so can you just imagine if like your fave gave you COVID? I'd be like, if I could just walk up in there and be like, they'd be like, oh my god, you got COVID. It's fine. One of the Jimins gave it to me. Like you know what I mean? Like that's how that's how the Jimins feel about it, Terika. Like they got COVID from you. They were like, yeah. oh, we got it from Terika. As long as they're like they're like they're okay, you know, like minor symptoms, just cold like symptoms, you know, like nothing life threatening. But you know, like mm-hmm. I would just be like, oh, I mean. Huh, what a story, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to be like, so in 2022, like, you got COVID. Oh, yeah, let me tell you that story. No, so. but, or when somebody's like, so what's your, like, K-pop flex? Well, <laughs> my well let me tell you. <laughs> no, not a flex. I went, to a, went to a fan sign, you know, and this is my fave sign. He signed my uh, album and then, you know, signed me up for COVID. So that was cool. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my god. Coping mechanism. Humors are a coping Coping mechanism. mechanism. (laughs) I'm saying the mixed emotions. It's like that meme that it's just like when you want to laugh, but you know it's fucked up and you're like, what do I do? Hey, you got to keep laughing to keep from crying. You know what I, I mean? I feel that. Mm-hmm. Damn. That's what we're all about. Um, well, Jimin, also from BTS, got COVID. Uh, but he also and had to... Appendicitis yep. <laughs> he got Damn. a band. I know he will. Oh, I know that pain. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've never had appendicitis, mm-hmm. but I've heard stories. So I know he mm-hmm. woke up screaming. Mm-hmm. It looks Man. painful. I don't want to experience that. Like, Nikolo Man de Dios, like, let me knock on wood real quick. But, like, it looks really scary. So he went to the ER because he had, like, a mild 
had sore throat and he had some abdominal pain. And then they're like, okay, well, guess what? You got acute appendicitis and also you tested positive for COVID. And then they like threw his ass into surgery the next yep. day. And it was successful. So now he's recovering from his surgery and being treated for COVID. I just feel so bad for him. But I mean, I guess in a way, like not good thing he got appendicitis. But like, I mean, mm-hmm. like maybe he wouldn't have, like if his throat was just kind of sore, he made it, if, especially if they're in the studio, he could be just thinking like it's from me singing and he maybe he wouldn't have like gotten tested until later, you know, and it could have spread to more people or maybe you know what I mean so maybe it's like not a good thing but the fact that he had to go and get emergency surgery and now he can just like recuperate in the hospital and like eat all the ice cream he wants and you know (laughs) actually rest you know what I mean that's true I mean I don't know about them but I know for me if I get just one mild uh scratch in my throat I panic and think it's COVID so oh my god me too (laughs) (laughs) I'm like paranoid but I mean yeah because like your environment and you're working and stuff like that but if I was a singer and I'm in the midst of trying to do my album and I'm over here killing yeah. it like being a vocal king I'd probably just mm-hmm. think like <clears throat> like one little tickle like the first day I'd be like nah bro my, I'm just over here smashing smashing <laughs> this record you yeah. know what I mean yeah yeah. well Sung Hood from and Hype and also had surgery and I believe <laughs> oh, it's for his nose right Is yeah he, was he snoring <laughs> no uh, it was his allergy <laughs> Uh, it's basically yeah he has rhinitis which means like he probably had like a post nasal drip or something like that or a deviated septum so they're like well kind of like what rm had so they probably like let's just fix that what did did they call it it's rhinitis yeah i can't pronounce that (laughs) yeah it's basically like allergies like a runny nose like allergies Mm -hmm. so he probably like i said he had post nasal drips all the time or he had a deviated septum and that after the surgery that would help a lot with his allergies and stuff if you can't tell terica also has allergies (laughs) where he got it from that's literally (laughs) like if you can't see the resemblance now you now you see the family (laughs) resemblance is here the genes are just like me I sent y'all that clip. Jungwon is a witch. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wow. I really didn't know he was my son until he was my son, you know? Wow. But the, su- the surgery was successful. And now that I know all this information about allergies, I hope that it does help him. <laughs> <laughs> it should. It, yeah. But that was it for our news this week. Let's move on to some music. The most anticipated, so exciting, Mark Lee released Child. <sighs> Mark Lee. But yes, the Molo, Mark Solo, <laughs> Child. If y'all haven't heard it, it's nothing so like good. we expected from Mark no. Lee or what no. we've seen in the past from Mark Lee in the, you know, an NCT world. But this this is more like in depth and like more very personal. I really like it. Alternative. It sounds very mm-hmm. alternative. Which I he like mentioned when I heard the song, when I watched the live, hold up, let me go back a little bit more. <laughs> when I watched his live <laughs> and he was explaining the song before it came out and he was saying it's alternative and it's this and it's that and then when I heard the song I was like oh okay I see what he meant how he was explaining it like I see it I see the vision and it sounds exactly like how I expected it to sound when he explained it at least before it came out uh I do have a confession though um I had no idea what molo meant like you guys were like molo 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 (laughs) and I was like I'm so confused like am I I like that is that is he coming out with an album like I it was the math was not mathing for me and now I didn't know what it meant until literally this moment just now when Carolina said it thank you <laughs> oh my god until just now you were today years old uh, no, uh, actually yesterday. Someone <laughs> said it yesterday, but it was very recent. Someone, like, I think it was actually Carolina again. Like, in the group chat, she said it. And then I was like, that's what that oh, means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Molo. That's Molo. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I get it. I can that's see so why funny. you'd be like, what? Like, I get it. That was my confession for today. But you think about it in the song, like, uh, well, A, I really like that he, like, switched it up. And, I mean, mm-hmm. it's not like mm-hmm. a, you know, hip-hop, like, him going all rapper and stuff, right? Anyways. But you think about it, though, and in the lyrics, too, like, they're, mm-hmm. they're, just, it's, they're just so emotional. Like, you think about it, like, he moved to Korea when he was just a child. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, all the pressure of being in that industry, being so little and not knowing you're just like, you don't really know anything at that point. So trying to maneuver yourself and trying to grow up in that too. Like, I can't even imagine. And then not only that, but you're like the Mark Lee 
that everybody's yeah. like, oh my god, Mark Lee. So I can't. The pressure. Yeah. The pressure this kid probably feels. Yeah, it was awesome to kind of hear like him talk about it because I mean we all we're always like, oh, like Mark Lee, like Mark works so hard, like, oh, I can't even imagine, like he carries so much weight, which I mean genuinely he does. Like I feel like out of all mm-hmm. of NCT, he is one of the ones that carries the most. He's in every unit. Not only that, but as if a weight. Not even that, but even when it is. Like, even if he wasn't in every unit, like, everyone looks to Mark, right? Everyone's like, oh, Mark's, like, my comfort person. Like, Mark is, like, this. Mark is that. Like, oh, Mark's so funny. Like, Uh, Johnny's, he's in JCC's all the time. Like, he's doing something over here with this person. And he's writing this song. And he's doing this. Yeah. When does he sleep? Exactly. Like, everyone kind of just turns to him. And I think it's not because they do it on purpose. But I think people naturally just gravitate towards, like, the person he is. So Mm -hmm. that's extremely pressuring especially if like you really never had a chance to kind of be a kid which is exactly what this song is about but yeah i think the lyrics perfectly kind of depicted the way he doesn't hate what's going on but he kind of wishes it went another way like it went differently and Mm. i don't know i respect that he like opened up and talked about it because you don't see a lot of k-pop artists like really talk about like shit like that you know you know what's funny like not to gravitate over other artists but is this like a trend like we have jackson released that like his latest song it's about literally his whole life Mm -hmm. leading up to this point mark also released like his song that was talking about you know like uh like mark twan i mean from got seven and now you have mark lee also releasing a track like this and i feel like at this point where i think we're reaching a point in k-pop that they you know not all idols but some of the idols are like established and things like that like they're ready to talk about their experiences while being there i mean i feel like now they're doing more music that's a lot more personal i think too it also has something probably to do with the pandemic like i feel like a lot of people in general are putting Mm -hmm. their lives in perspective because like one minute like you know you're just kind of like doing this and doing this and then boom this pandemic comes out of nowhere and like people are lost lost like loved ones and families and then like Mm -hmm. you had to go through like quarantine like every day it's just kind of like to slow you down yeah you had to step back and think about things or think about your passions or just kind of put things in perspective and i think that like at this point they're kind of like carolina said they're established and like now it's just kind of like with everything going on globally it's just like i can write this type of music i can i i mean people need to hear this type of thing and hear because like everyone's kind of feeling this way and it's not going to be a whole like why did they release this like we wanted like a bait like we wanted like an ass shake or like everyone's just kind of looking for like you know that perspective too that comfort too yeah yeah and also like with mark i like the fact that we got to hear him like singing more yeah because like yeah a lot of people tend to forget that he came into sm as like a singer songwriter like that's what he really wants to do he was like after like when you know my like nct finally ends or we all go our separates or we all get older at some point i want to just be like a singer songwriter which is so cute and he has a little guitar <laughs> yeah and so i was like i liked when we get to hear like his vocal side of things and i don't know but he's so funny because he was just like i wrote this a while ago like a couple months ago and then i sat on it because i wasn't sure if i wanted to release it and then i just wanted to thank my fans and all the like seasonings who've been like constantly buying all our merch because sm's putting out new merch every other week he's like so i just wanted to give them something i wanted to to release this through a station to give them something that they don't have to fight over or purchase like they do for my merch and photo <laughs> cards oh my like, god oh you're so cute because you know your photo cards are out here ruining bank accounts Yo. <laughs> but- <laughs> He but knows. He was just like, "I'm gonna give y'all this on the free." Don't. Yeah, that's can, literally that's what he it. said. He was the just like, "Hard business, mm. girl." Yeah. Booming. No, but I think it's exactly like you said, Terika. Especially like for us mere mortals who aren't industry, like in the entertainment industry. Like when we move fast and we work, we don't really think about our stress until like after everything is done, right? So like, yeah, if you're mm-hmm. at work and it's super busy, you're just working, 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 working. You don't think about all the stress until you like have a second. You're like damn that was a pretty intense <laughs> like that was yeah right like, yeah stressful. and like you don't think about that so as an idol who your day is planned out to a fucking millisecond i can't even imagine like stepping back and having a break what you must think about like the shit i would think about i'd be like damn what i would think about like interactions i would think about like things i said in interviews the way i sounded <laughs> everything in this record. yeah right. i think about literally everything sidebar but like imagine you're an idol and you get to that moment and you you know how we like we all sometimes think about like embarrassing shit we Girl, did like 10 years ago imagine them and it's on youtube forever 
forever. I just got chills. Thinking. <laughs> like, oh, disgusting. Another reason why I could never be an idol. They, my career would end before it began. They'd be like, you know what? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, just pull up the podcast line. In this podcast, you said that you were to talk Johnny's tone. So I was like, damn it. <laughs> Damn it. That's what I'm so... Honestly, y'all, let, let me tell you, the one thing I was scared about with us becoming successful is that people will pull up our stuff if we ever, like, interview these idols. Like, if we had, like, a TV show, you know, like, JJ or, like, Jesse, like, they have those interview <laughs> shows. Like, if we ever had one of those that, like, our PD will pull up this, like, oh, really? Because you said this in front of the idol, and I would just be, like, mortified. <laughs> I like, feel like that's what makes us that. endearing. We're interviewing our faves, and, and then the PD is just like, oh, so on episode, like, three of the podcast, she said, and they just pull their recording and be like, oh, how dare you? But anyway, sorry, I deviated from the emo side of Mar- of Molo. But yeah, this is good. I'm really fucking proud of this kid, dude. Like, he bro, uh, dude, came bro, in swinging. He bro, came, like, yeah, dude, yeah. Bro. That's an homage to Mark oh Lee. My God. I gotta be like, dude. <laughs> Bro, you don't also know. his power too because a whole bunch of his like other music and a whole bunch of Super M, NTG Dream, One Two Seven, all their shit started like charting. Yeah, because like people are like, oh, well, let's just listen to other things that Mark's on. <laughs> so <laughs> that's great. Also, shameless plug. I got emo too, and I wrote about my feelings about Molo. Yay! It's posted on our website. Go check it out. It's linked in whatever description of the platform you're listening yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Also, now that we talked about all the deep stuff, let me talk about how hot he looks. He <laughs> you looked so good. Him in the jeans and the white t-shirt, but he was just sitting on the Yay. couch like, oh my god, he looks so good. His eyebrows, the hair, the his skin was just glowing and then uh, him with the hoodie and the beanie you know what yep also the part where he's like sitting there in that white t-shirt and like things just blow up in the back behind oh, him yeah that if i don't right? know if anybody watches euphoria but that literally sounds mm. like it should be a song on euphoria like that part the yeah. whatever it was a really good shot. For me, um, there's like one of the ending scenes when he's like running and like all the people are mm-hmm. like running behind him. Yo, I got chills looking at that because I was just I like, thought he was running from Sussings. Yeah, <laughs> like it was a funny because I thought of that. I was just like, that's all this talk of fans going after him. <laughs> he running away. It's probably more deep than that. It's probably like his like insecurities yeah. and all that. But I'm like, those are Sussings right there. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, because it's Mark, it could be Sussings. Like, it could be his haters, because exactly. literally the whole park where he's like, ah, oh, you talk too much. Anyway, I would do, now that we've talked about the deepness and the lyrics and the video, I would like to talk about how good Mark looked in that jean outfit with the white t-shirt. Wow. Yes. That's what I couch. just said. But you're right. You got to say it twice. You got, it's so good. You, you got to say it multiple times. Now, Terika, you say it, and then Carolina say it. <laughs> he's fine. Mark Lee is fine. And that's, so you know, fine. that's just what it is. And, like, he has, like, this aura. <clears throat> You're right. You're I right. told Cynthia yesterday and I was sitting there and we didn't want to start the reaction. Like we were both terrified, <laughs> right? So we're sitting there and I was like, I just don't know how to explain it. And she was like, it's like realizing that your best friend is hot. And I'm like, yeah, that's literally what it is. I was like, it's like realizing that like the kid you grew up with is now like really fucking hot. And you're like, how the fuck do I go about this situation? <laughs> like, That's how it happens. Do you think that they just sit around their dorm and like when someone gets dressed up to like getting ready to film a music video or something and be like damn dude you fine be like you look like damn mark you look good I in that shirt i hope bro. they hype each other up i hope yeah. they do too be like oh my oh god my like you look kind of good listen if lucas was my bandmate every day i'd be like damn lucas you look at yourself with that face like right <laughs> like you look so good today be like okay thanks i just rolled out of bed it's okay anyways we can continue on talking about mark lee forever though he's so hot he really is like he is like yeah. borderline ridiculous to be honest with you i hate it like, it just gets me so upset that God only made one. And I'm like, wow. In conclusion, Mark Lee, that's it. Yes, he did that. <laughs> um, Jamie also released uh, Pity Party this week, an all-English track. She's in her goth schoolgirl era in this. Pity Party. I love the name. I actually really like the song. I think it's like a very disco-y sounding song. I like the chorus and a lot. I really liked her outfits. Like that long mm-hmm. skirt she had. I mean, I love like velvet things, like wearing them. Mm-hmm. So that skirt was right up my alley. I was like, that that's just hot. She's an amazing vocalist. Like she blows my mind yep. every time. Every time, man. It's like people forget too. She got but pipes. Like, 
She got pipes, man. I like the chorus. It was fun. And the little, like, hand dance she does with the chorus. And also, she took that man's money and then drugged him. I was like, go for it. Good for her. ATE's also released uh, Don't Stop, which is a universe uh, track. But it's so good that we had to talk about it on here. Because let me tell you, A, they look fine as fuck. They're actors. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Also, that scene when Hong Joon came out. And um, Song Hwa just like came up to him, and I was like, "That's my captain mm. and my cop cap, my co captain, yep. bitch." Ooh, I felt it. I was just like, mm. "It makes one team, bitch. It makes one team." Oh my After God. he Anyways. threw that boat, the little ship replica into the fire and burned his whole ass face off, I was like, "I don't know if you were prop, like if you were fit enough to lead this <laughs> team." Why? No, Sir. you girl, you know every, you know in the movies, like some of the leaders they go a little crazy, right? But then they get their team to like bring them back down, you know? <laughs> yeah, they would get their team to bring them you back know, down. What I found the sexiest is that there was do men in there doing oh. men. So San and Wu Young were like playing poker and yeah. they were like in the face of danger. And I was like, God damn, of course it's Wu Sai. San the good. Them eyebrows. Them crazy hoes. I was like, my whole like thug, thug love life is just oh. like, wow. It was just so hot seeing them do all of this. Honestly, like it was just sexy. The song is amazing. The I song is great. freaking love it. Like during the chorus, they have like the, that a ya 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 like. Oh. Uh Uh how they do Uh with all of their music and that beat lord lord i was i wanted to throw my ass in a circle with that beat like it's so good the song is fire the music video the concept is so cool like i like this whole like mafia pirate thing they got going on like it's great mingy looked great so like somebody whooped his ass but he looks good It was like, let me mend your wounds. He said, this is for my team. I'm going to get he beat did. up. Whatever. He said, I can't fight, but I'm still fine. So what? <laughs> and, and fighting with his looks. <laughs> the wild thing is, I'm pretty sure like in the universe, Mingi is supposed to be like the muscle, like the strong one. Oh. And so it's kind of wild. <laughs> Just ask me to this, but it's okay. We're doing like an opposites thing, you know? Damn. <laughs> we gotta re we gotta reevaluate the positions. <laughs> An actor. Okay. He's acting. I'm saying, like, I just know they're definitely one of the leaders for fourth gen groups. Mm-hmm. Cue the leaders by by ATs. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so incredibly talented and like the mm-hmm. aura and when they perform, they give it 120 and yeah, San gave his soul to the devil. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yep. I don't know that his, his face and those eyebrows and just, I don't know mm. what be happening. But all of that, like even like uh, the scene that Terika was talking about, like when he threw the light thing and like the fire started, like for me, like that was just so sexy though. Like he is Bro, like, Hunter they pulls off crazy so well. Like, yeah. Like, he's so yeah. crazy so well. It's kind he's of a Scorpio. Different. He, he probably ain't Scorpio. too far from the truth, you know? Like, bitch, I will, <laughs> exactly. I will never forget. They did an interview and Wu Young was talking about, somebody was like, when do you find Hong Jun the most attractive, the most charming as a leader? And Wu Young was like, I was going to the kitchen to make me food and Hong Jun was on the couch and he was getting up to go to his room and then Hong Jun looked at Wu Young and he was like, when I come out, make sure my food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Keith. Yes, sir. I do the cooking. I do the cleaning. Woo Young was like, it was so attractive. <laughs> was like, After that, I became so attractive. He said, I, "Yeah." He said, "I belong in the kitchen." He's like a fiery, like a like a firecracker, and he's so tiny and like well proportioned, and he has that fire in him. Oh, it's so hot. He is growing. That tiny. shit makes me scream every time. Every time, like he's mad at Woo Young. Woo Young's like, it's so hot. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Why is he like this? Because oh he's God. a Sagittarius. His I Sagittarius know. Ass. He loves the abuse. He's like, ooh, toxic. Yeah. Wait, I would just like to add a little moment that just happened right now that Henry, if you did not know, I have a boyfriend and his name is Henry, like a real life boyfriend. <gasps> you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I know. Who like knows? in real and life? He walked over here. She's <laughs> cheating on Mark, your honor. <laughs> walked over here where I was recording as I was saying that and he was just staring at me. I still finished, <laughs> I still finished my sentence. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> Right. You know what? what Henry is also a tiny, he's a pocket man. He's a tiny he king. A man. We love that for him. But yeah, I just want to say that ATs is killing it. And this song, even though it's not like an official like release, it's for Universe. It's still an official release. What am I saying? So good. Um, and it's super Sounds good. Sounds like an official release. Dude. Like, oh my God. They, they, listen, that Universe app, I need to just download it. But I just have too many that I don't. Don't fall for their marketing scheme, Carolina. This is how they get you. All I'm right? falling. Guess I'm what? falling It's indeed. uploaded on YouTube. Anyway, but this is great. 
look at Sungwa and Hongju, and like that dynamic is just so attractive to me. Oh, same. I, Mom and dad, let's uh, go. Yeah, literally, <laughs> Scorpio Pisces, like love, like love that. Just, just wow. And then, honestly, I'm gonna say something real bold here. You know, wow. He looks so <laughs> You're good right. in this music video. He yes. always looks good. He's so mm-hmm. yeah. Woo! Yeah, he's, he's so, so tall. He's so broad. large. Such a large man. He's so hot. I was he's, talking he's about so it with hot. one of my friends. Like all of ATs have like different body types, but they're also nicely proportioned and it's kind of ridiculous. And you're just like, like that video of San and Noonho mm. dancing. <gasps> Bitch. Me and T- Cynthia were talking about how well proportioned Hung Jun was the other day. And mm-hmm. then me and my other friend were talking about how well, like how nice Woo Young's body is. And I was like, damn, yes. is all the H is just like beautifully proportioned. And then I looked yeah. at all of them and I was like, damn, they really are just like, mm. Who built they're them? all different shapes and sizes, like body sizes and shit. But God damn. I was like, damn, they're, so fine they're just so so fine fine. they so fine and so talented and just they just execute Mm -hmm. everything perfectly and i'm so tired of this myth i'm so (laughs) can they just release the tour or if they're just gonna be at kcon you know hong jun's a scorpio so who knows Anyway, everybody, do yourself a favor and just stay in 80s. Be an 18. Be an 18, be an 18 not, the crazy, not the crazy 18. Be like yeah, the please. Regular, regular ass. 18. They're saying that now, but then when tour season comes back around, they're going to be like, um, no, everyone, no, they suck. Boo. <laughs> tomato, tomato, boo. Don't waste still waste your money. <laughs> Go to, go to the BTS concert. It'll be better. Girl, we don't need that either. No. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah, why would you do that? I'm going to help you out. Is she over here? Me and Terika, we're just going to go now. Bye. It doesn't help me either. Listen. Yeah, listen, bitch, we got to fight yeah, already. It's just, look, Hung Jun already told us that there's gonna be a, they're going to be back in the States. Can y'all just let us know if it's for KCON? So or a they tour, so I know if I need a fight to the death for a KCON ticket, or if I need a fight to the death for multiple tour date tickets. Maybe both. Also, I have continued my streak of nearly falling in front of idols when I almost fell down in front of Yo Song in my high touch for ATs. <laughs> love that. I love that for her. <laughs> the legend cat. <laughs> Girl, that's what I'm gonna be known for. I can't wait for the one day Mingyu sees me again and he's like gives me the I feel like I know you look and I'm gonna be like <laughs> Never met you before in my life. Nope. I'm gonna like get you, down sir. on the ground. I'm gonna get down on the ground. He's gonna be like, Oh my god <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Anyways, stan eighties. But no, they're not coming on tour, so uh yeah. <laughs> Mind your yeah business. okay Mind your business uh, <laughs> so yeah let's end this week with our songs of the week like we always do i just took cat's line my bad she did wow i can't believe i'm getting wow. pushed out of my <laughs> my songs of the week this week um i can't i won't lie to y'all i've been in an 80s hole since i saw them live my whole life's been revolving around them for the past mood mm-hmm. mood um so i've been listening to a lot of two groups ats and ace ats because i'm happy ace because i'm sad um <laughs> the i've been lash. listening to to the beat a lot because seeing that live was a, a. spiritual awakening you're right Aww. also listening to a lot of ats covers um you know hung and b covering like my chemical romance and shit so mm. i've been listening to those a lot a lot <laughs> <laughs> right, Cynthia. As far as Ace goes, I've been in my fields. My man leaves. By the time you're listening to this, my man will be gone for Guam. Dang. Damn. Damn. <sighs> Can't believe he's going to Guam. Oh my God. So I've been not listening to like nice, like happy Ace songs. I've been listening to the sad shit. So stand by you. <laughs> been oh. on repeat. Clover has been on repeat. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's been an emotional time for me. Junhee, if you ever listen to this, sir, I love you so much. Please come back. Misa's like, Dad! (laughs) (laughs) Right. Anyway, those are my songs of the week. Um, My songs of the week. I'm still listening to Pentagon's EP, of course. I would like to recommend One Shot by them. Go listen to it if you haven't. Listen to the whole EP. You will thank me later. My other song of the week is Ride or Die by Hanse. Nice. Mark's uh, release reminded me of that EP, so I went back to and I was like, oh my god, I forgot how good this was. Even though I know like Mark released it on Friday. Anyway, and also I've been listening to that <laughs> song too. So Mark's child, thank you. Um, my one song of the week is Eye Contact because that's what I was listening to on my way to visit my family for three hours. 
<laughs> love that on repeat all right my songs of the week uh i've been listening to child because you know gotta support Yay. my boy you know also <clears throat> we were talking about one-on-one last week and i just i don't know <gasps> so i listened to my oh. favorite one-on-one song ever which is never nice oh my god when i first saw that live i was like they're never gonna perform this and then they performed that k-con and i was like <laughs> oh my god never forget Oh my god. Never forget. Oh, yeah, never forget the girls that are around me that were screaming for them, but when never came on, they looked so lost. I'm like, what is this? So I was like, oh, what? Anyways. <laughs> Shout out to Hui for that song. Ayo. Hey. Like. Also, um, just because I don't know, just because I've been in my NCT dream fields. I don't know if it's because it was like G Sung's birthday or like, I don't know what the deal was, but I've listened to a lot of dream. So I'll just throw some out there. How about life is still going on? That's my jam. Dreaming a bop. Hey. And yeah, dive into you. Another bop. Ooh, also dream run, which is one of my favorite dream songs. Ooh, so. yes. I love when they include like the word dream in their songs. I know there's a bunch of their songs that have like parts of like their older songs in that song, like title and things like that and I yep, love yep. Dream Run oh, is one I of love them. that for my songs of the week I'm also with Cynthia I've been listening to Pentagon's latest EP that Ooh. shit is fire uh, I've been listening to Sparkling Night because I'm pretty sure that's my favorite song of the oh, EP as yes. well as Feeling Like because like mm-hmm. shit mm-hmm. that song got me feeling like a million bucks it's so good <laughs> um, <laughs> Keshi came out with a new song called Touch I've been listening to a lot yeah. of that because it song. is fire yeah, Keshi, um, and I've also been listening to a lot of Jeepanoff so I would say Leave Me because it's one of my favorite uh, songs by him. And uh, yeah, those are my songs for this week. Ooh, oh, now I remember why I've been listening to so much Dream. Because for five minutes, Alexis had me convinced that I was taking my ass to Germany. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she really she really hyped up that whole group chat. And I was over here trying to make moves. And I said, girl, sit your ass down. Come on, you, you, girl, you can't even go up the street, let alone Germany. Bye. <laughs> I will uh, end this podcast saying one more thing. Everybody watch All of Us Are Dead on Netflix. Yes. Because it's a great yes. show. Yes. So and everyone should watch it. And if you have watched it, come in our DMs and talk to us about it because I love it so much. And I've, and they're starting to release like behind the scenes stuff. They're so cute. And it's so fucking adorable. And I'm like. The whole cast is so cute. I love I'm starting them. that tonight, everybody. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait I for can't the wait live for play by play, Carolina. Yeah. I, yeah I'm already That's waiting for the bitch that is a bitch. Um, like that bitch. She's a bitch from the first episode, so you ain't gotta wait. <laughs> uh, is it the, is it the pink her. sweater girl? Yeah. 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 I, also really love I knew her. it. I knew that pink sweater was gonna be bitchy. She's an actress, though. She's an actress. Because, wow, I was ruling for her in Squid Games. Anyway, so whether you are obsessed with the actors from All of Us Are Dead, like me and Terika, we each have our own bae, and our babies yeah. are like friends. Oh my god, anyway. so cute. <laughs> Anyway, whether you're obsessed with the actors from All of Us Are Dead or you're still simping over ATs two weeks, three weeks, one week <laughs> since you saw them, yeah. uh, they're still in my time zone, so it just makes me feel a lot of things. Or, you know, you're surviving the harsh winters <laughs> in, God. in Central Texas. Make sure you always, always fangirl along. along.